Howdy friends, music lovers, Wes here checking in with my March 2014 vinyl inbox update. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it. This first purchase was inspired by uh, a documentary I watched about the Flaming Lips, and it was about this particular album. It's uh, about the Soft Bulletin from the Flaming Lips from 1999, I believe, is when this was released. And uh, it was just a really cool documentary uh, about this particular album and about the Flaming Lips in general and really going into uh, you know the formation of the band and sort of the making of this album and where they were at that point and uh, you know the Flaming Lips is a band I've I've really latched on to in the past few years and really been enjoying exploring their catalog so after watching that documentary I I really wanted to get this so I went on went ahead and ordered this uh, 2011 reissue of this album, two LP set. Uh, it's not a gatefold, two LPs in their sleeves here, black vinyl, and then you get some printed inner sleeves with some photos and, and uh, some lyrics. So yeah, that's, that's the Soft Bulletin, definitely a classic album from them, and it really means a lot more after seeing the, the documentary and sort of the what went on behind the, the writing of each of these songs, and uh, a cool documentary. Check it out if you can. I believe it's here on YouTube. So probably be able to find it. I'll try to remember to put a link in the show notes to the documentary. It's cool in case you haven't seen that. I'm sure most of you have seen that already. Next thing was a birthday gift. Had my birthday this month and I had uh, some stuff on my wish list and my parents picked this up for me. This was a just a a discovery I had sometimes I just go on to iTunes and, and you know on Tuesdays and listen to some of the new releases and the cover on this one caught my eye and I checked it out and I really enjoyed it so I put it on my wish list and that's a soundtrack to Only God Forgives by Cliff Martinez and Cliff Martinez is an ambient electronic artist uh, he's done a few other soundtracks as well which I, I want to check uh, more out into but I just, you know, I, the, the cover of this caught my eye and I checked out the music and really enjoyed the music and definitely something I wanted to have in my collection. So I'm really enjoying hearing this really cool music. I have not seen the film. Um, and this is a two LP set. First LP is on a beautiful clear blue vinyl. And the second LP is on a clear red vinyl. So matching with the cover art on this uh, on this soundtrack, and just some really, as I said, really cool ambient electronic work, sound work. You know, really cool. I want to explore more Cliff Martinez stuff, but definitely check him out if you're not if you are into uh, electronic ambient kind of music. A birthday present, so. That was my birthday vinyl for this year. And moving on, uh, continuing on with the Flaming Lips vibe, I went to the record store as well on my birthday and decided to treat myself to a couple albums. And so I got the first two albums from the Flaming Lips. These are reissues as well from 20... Uh, I'm not sure exactly when these are done. These are plain recordings. Uh, so this is... Here it is. Their debut album. And this one's on a nice creamy white vinyl. And then you get a nice, uh, nice inner sleeve with, uh, you know, some liner notes about their first album and some history. So, a uh, really nice package here, you know, to be able to get these, get these early albums on vinyl and get some some history and some notes and things. And uh, so that was their debut album, and then their second album, Oh My God, from '87. So it's really been really cool to explore the early days of the band. Very much a different sound than they're making now, but still, still sort of the same. You know, still the same band. Uh, this one is on clear vinyl. So that's really cool. And there's a whole series of these early albums uh, from, from the Flaming Lips, uh, all on colored vinyl. And I'm hoping to, to collect more of these. I really am enjoying exploring the Flaming Lips, as I said. And once again, you know, in a nice inner sleeve with. Uh, plenty of liner notes about the the making of this album and yeah those were the new vinyl acquisitions for the month of march next up i have a an order from discogs i placed with a place called philadelphia music and if you've ever shopped on 
Discogs. You've probably seen them before. Very, a very prolific seller on Discogs, and they always seem to have stuff from my wish list. So I placed an order for four records here. They were all around three bucks a piece. So a uh, pretty nice little package here for you know under twenty, well under twenty bucks, including shipping. So. First thing we got here is, this is a second copy of this album I have. This is T. Roth and Another Pretty Face, uh, sort of a, a, a new wave band that was formed uh, with the lead person, uh, Terry Roth, which is here. He happens to be Zipster08 here on YouTube. Uh, somebody I've been watching on YouTube since the early, early days of YouTube. It was one of the, one of the early... YouTube stars and I found a copy of this at the Jacksonville flea market I believe it was early last year that copy was warped and I was unable to properly flatten it it was too far warped so I uh, found this second copy of this album uh, as I said from Philadelphia music and picked it up it's on the reflection label so this is a a, a nicer uh, copy of this and uh, now I can actually listen to the music so that's nice I uh, picked up a copy of Bronski Beats Truth or Dare from 1986. It's just on MCA Records. And then a couple of new John Martin albums. This is a live album called Foundations. Uh, 1987 on this one. It's recorded live at the Town Country Club in London. So another addition to the John Martin collection. And then an actual album from John Martin. This is Piece by Piece from 1986. These John Martin albums are on Island Records. And both of these actually happen to be Gold Stamp promos. So that was a cool uh, cool little purchase from Discogs. Uh, Philadelphia Music, always enjoy buying from them. Always am pleased with what I get for the, for the price. So this last stack here of stuff is a nice little haul I got from the Hospice Thrift Store. I uh, haven't been doing a whole lot of thrifting in in the past couple months. Just haven't had the, the time to, to go out and really, really work that whole thrift scene a lot. Uh, but I just happened to to get lucky when I stopped in one day and found a few things. Uh, this first album was somewhat of a blind buy and I uh, want to talk about this one a little bit. Uh, this is a, an album from the band called Repairs and this is their debut album called Already a Household Word from 1971 I believe is when this was released. Yes, 1971 on the Rare Earth label. So. The main, the main thing that made me buy this is this album is on the Rare Earth label. Uh, so I took this home, did a little bit of research. It turns out this band uh, was formed in Connecticut in the late 60s. They are sort of a country, uh, a country rock or a, yeah, I guess a country rock, folk rock sort of sound. A little bit like The Birds or Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Uh, you know they do they do have that sort of country rock sound with some harmonizing and folky kind of songs uh, the songs are are varied in their themes and their sounds and uh, really really interesting band interesting group happened to discover that one of the members of the band has as a, a series of videos here on YouTube talking about the history of the band and uh, there's a there's a whole uh, 15 minute episode about the forming of the band and this debut album uh, by Jim Honeycutt. Uh, we'll put a link down in the show notes below. If you have 15 minutes, I highly recommend you check that out. Uh, it gives you a bit of history of the band repairs and uh, you get uh, some samples of the songs that are on this album. Uh, but a, uh, just a cool discovery on the Rare Earth label and some, some, some good, really good music. I really enjoy listening to this. The songs are... Uh, varied in their themes and sounds and it just uh works really well together it's a really cool band so definitely check them out i'm really glad i discovered this and as i said check out that that uh, episode by jim cool little history piece and definitely a band if you if you see albums by repairs and you're into that that sort of country folk rock sort of sound uh check them out good band all right, next up we got Jean-Luc Ponty, Mystical Adventures, 1982 on this one. Of course, I pick up anything by Jean-Luc Ponty I find in a thrift store. Steely Dan, The Royal Scam from 1976. 
Uh, surprisingly, I don't think I already had. I don't think I have this one yet. So uh, that was a nice pickup for. I should say that all these are fifty cents from the hospice store. They're they're one of the last stores that are still fifty cents. Most everybody's gone to a dollar these days. Jeff Beck's Flash. Mid eighties, eighty five on this one. Uh, album from Pat Metheny Group. Letters from Home. Uh, this is 89, getting near the end of vinyl here. But I do enjoy some Pat Metheny from this, this time period. So I thought I'd grab that. A uh, Super Tramp album I don't think I already had. This is Brother, Where You Bound. Another one from the late... Uh, oh, it's 85. I guess it's the mid-80s. That one, Justin Hayward of the Moody Blues. This is called Night Flight. 1980 on this one. It's on the Duram label, of course. So that was a really, really neat find. I see a lot of Justin Hayward solo albums, but I have never seen this one before in the wild. So that was a really cool find. We've got Robert Palmer's Pride. Definitely one I see often. Really like the album artwork. Not sure if I'm going to like the music or not. This is from 83. Uh, I do have a Robert Palmer Greatest Hits CD that I enjoy listening to from time to time. I do, I do like some Robert Palmer now and then, but I thought I'd grab this for 50 cents. Nice copy of that. Robin Trower's Long Misty Days. Pretty neat looking artwork on this one. Don't see a date. Somewhere in the mid-70s, I would say. And then these last two. I see these all the time in thrift stores, and I, I don't own these, surprisingly, in my collection. So I thought I'd just grab them for 50 cents just to say I have them. You know, I may keep them, I may not. But this is Boston's uh, Don't Look Back. This one's from 78. You know, just some classic classic Boston albums and then this is just uh, third stage by Boston so that was my vinyl inbox for the month of March I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, if you have any thoughts on any of these albums here any questions let me know down in the show notes below if you are a first time viewer and you're not already subscribed please subscribe i do appreciate having new subscribers and you'll be you'll be able to keep up to date with any new videos i make so i thank you for that in advance hope everyone has a great april uh, hope everybody's thawing out get out do some record shopping enjoy yourself enjoy the enjoy the spring weather and so thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon cheers <laughs>